Hey guys, Tim Estral, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I'm here in Flint. Chevrolet just unveiled a new heavy duties. I got 2,500 in the trailer, 3,500 LT, LTZ. It's crazy in this right now. 35,500 pounds of max towing. They beat Ram. It's really surprising. I got a bunch of information for you. I'm gonna flip this around and we can uh, talk more about it. All right, flip this around. So there's the new look. Come around this way. This is the new bow tie. This is what's getting a lot of attention. This is the high country, so the uh, high country comes with a bow tie on it. When you look at the other trucks, and we'll get to them over here, um, and actually over here is another one as well. That has the Chevrolet on it. Hey, Brandon. So we'll come around this way to the crowd. Okay, so you can see the Chevrolet on the trims here. So LT, LTZ, uh, the work truck custom will have Chevrolet spelled out the uh, high country. So all right, towing payload. So no payload numbers yet. Max towing 35,500 pounds, a beat Ram. They're gonna offer the new Allison 10 speed. It's going to have uh, in the 6.6 .6 liter V8 Duramax, you're having 445 horsepower, 910 foot pounds of torque. What Chevy's claim here is, is that's all on first gear. They're taking all the maximum torque at first gear. That, that, that's their play. They're saying that, that Ram offers more towing, but they cannot offer that towing right off the bat. And so they're, the way they got it set up with new Allison, they got uh, larger, stronger axles, they got a bigger U-joint, a bigger prop shaft, they have a 12-inch ring gear. Um, trying to go for my notes here. They have a 28 inch cooling fan, so better cooling. The way the hood is, you can see that hood scoop, that's all for cooling. The way the design of the hood is, the way the design of the grill is, that's all cooling. And so it's really about uh, getting the truck cooled off, getting the horsepower and torque. They have a cool feature where they have an engine run idle after you stop. So if you stop and the engine's hot, it'll run for another 15 minutes afterwards. No news on Trail Boss, I don't believe. I don't believe I saw a Trail Boss. Um, factory install, installed power takeoff. Uh, first time ever, all of their dualies are going to offer 30,000 pounds of towing. Um, the heavy duty, the 2500 is going to be 17,400 pounds of towing. Uh, they have a high compression radio in the engine. The 6.6 uh, .6 liter V8 gas, I'll, go, I'll check the snowfall out. The 6.6 .6 liter V8 gas is going to have 22% uh, more torque than the uh, outgoing gas engine, they have direct injection. The uh, def tank, this is important. The def tank has been relocated to inside the frame rail. There is a new um, indicator and in instrument panel that's gonna talk about where the def tank, or the def fluid is, and it'll be hooked up in the, um, where, let's see. Oh, it's gonna be hooked up in the uh, fuel gauge. Yeah, def's right there. I believe the tank is back back in here underneath the frame rails and uh, you won't have that issue with the def tank anymore. Here on the back, the uh, oh, the sidestep here. Sidestep fits a full full shoe or boot in that case. It's 500 pounds, you can get 500 pounds of weight in there. Yep, the, they, they addressed that issue. They knew it was bad, they took care of that issue. Um, towing tech, so there's the, all the trailering tech, so you have the um, trailer tiring, it's got trailer tow alert, Got eight cameras, 15 heavy or high definition visuals. They have that see-through um, camera view that's on our website, pickuptrucktalk.com. You can see that photo. Um, yeah, it's actually nice with a toolbox. And if you're doing the fifth wheel hookup, which this one doesn't have the hookup in, but you can actually get in there and hook stuff up. What's interesting here is these holes in the bed, the are stamped and then the bed line is put on. It helps with corrosion. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So, and another thing Chevy's claiming too is they have total, more total sales than Ford and FCA. They're starting to really put that out there. I think they're tired of losing the, um, tired of the Ford. I think they're tired of the uh, Ford's claims, and so they're going to start to talk about their numbers more. GM says they've had more, sa more full size truck sales and truck sales than Ford and FCA has in the past five years. Uh, yeah, so all new, so going over again, so all new gas V8, new 10 speed Allison, 52% more towing, 24 different full size trucks. And the January, in January this year, they finally split. They had now do 50 50 uh, 2018 and 2019 models of Humming Off Semi Line. And they're starting a national advertising campaign. 
So their plan is they're gonna have a lot more um, sales. That's the goal. Flint Assembly does 250,000 trucks a year and we're doing 90 seconds for each new truck. $1.5 billion investment. We're spending some money. Uh, this is, so the bumper here, this is interesting. The bumper is actually uh, built, designed this way. So you can put the um, snow plow in and you don't have to cut holes in a bumper. There's no problem there. And there's also, I don't know if this has them. Let's go around the other side. Take a look at this other side here. It doesn't... Yeah, so this is the cutout for it. This is interesting. So this, if you have an engine block heater, you can put the cord in here, and this is a spring closed mechanism. So you can actually um, keep your cord from getting d dusty and nasty in, in snow conditions. And you don't have to worry about it hanging out. And you don't have to worry about uh, doing the, um, where you're gonna put it. I'm happy that Ford, <laughs> yeah, always happy they lower these back of these trucks. Um, so the cord can go in here, it can spring load, so you can put your engine block heater and not have to worry about uh, getting it all nasty. I think what else was on the big news? And they really, they really made the difference. So this, I believe, is the 1500. And so they put these two side by side because you can see the grill differences. You see the height of the grill here and you park them side by side and they look dramatically different. That was on, there was their plan. They want to make sure that the heavy duty and light duty look dramatically different. Hmm. I'm going to head over here. There's a, a really cool display with the frame. Uh, I don't have the axle ratios yet. GM has always done 373 in the rear axle. I don't see them changing that. Because for the towing, they just literally said they bigger axles, bigger U-joint, bigger prop shaft. That's how they got it. Good crowd. Okay, so here is the uh, frame there. And so you can see the def tank is going to be built in right up, right behind and it's in between those frame rails so it's pretty damn protected comes right out connected that's new allison 10 speed industry first um wheelbase what's it say wheelbase increased by 5.2 inches active two-speed transfer case Track boots. Yeah, I, l I love chassis, cutaway chassis. Cutaway chassis is cool. So this must be a, the gas version here. A lot less uh, frame rail. So maybe this is 2,500, that's 3,500. Because you can see less of the braces for the steel braces. There's the big 20, 28 inch cooling fan right there. Oh, this is cool to see. So this is your uh, fifth wheel hookup. And they have the uh, in the bed connector. It's a wax coating. GM always does wax coatings and their stuff. So the deal with the wax coating is they feel like um, if you scrape this wax coating, the wax actually goes back. It actually seals back up. Versus like if it's painted, that's, that's how GM says their wax coating's better, is as you scrape that, it, the wax will actually move back and cover up the scrape mark versus like any of the frames that are painted, I guess I'm repeating myself, but if they're painted, they will uh, they will just have the mark forever. So that's why they that's why they do the, the Mac, the, the wax coating. We go around the front over here, watching less, everybody's doing stand-ups, we're all doing stuff. Uh, this is high country, you get the Duramax. Around. Oh, this is, this is cool. Look at this, guys. They put a uh, Chevy Performance ZR2 Desert Racer in here. This is pretty cool. I think I'll take the trailer home. Nice and quiet. Look at the toolboxes. Man, that thing's sharp. Um, LED lights, new fascia, new cooling. Again, 35,500 pounds of towing. No payload numbers yet. No fuel economy because it's heavy duty. We don't do that in fuel economy. 
uh, power, let's see, power, so yeah, 445 horsepower, 910 foot-pounds of torque for the Duramax diesel, 401 horsepower, 464 for a 6.6 liter V8. Um, yeah, and uh, the trucks have gone really big, but they've also made it really different. So when you park these two next to each other, like the uh, heavy duty versus light duty, they look dramatically different. Anyone else notes I have? So we talked about def tank. Uh, power up and power down tailgate. They'll have a power up and power down tailgate. So power up, I've never, uh, that's, I think the segment first. I had to double check that. I, I know power down's a thing. Hmm, good stamp. I feel about crazy notes. So again, the high country's got the bow tie. The other, the LT, LTZ work and custom have the Chevrolet. And you're right, there is no Trail Boss listed so far. Yep, the only similarity between the heavy duty and the 1500 is the roof. It's all new stamping all the way through. And this is the body shop of Flint we're in. They have a three coat paint shop. We'll be doing a tour of that later on today. Oh, you, know, you can uh, upload your, your trailer tech to the cloud and then you can uh, do the, the cloud with, uh, you can share your trailer. No, sorry, John, you don't like the look, but they're not gonna redesign it in 2021. This is the look. And it's, it's polarizing on purpose. They're, they're really trying to go different. They're not trying to stay the same. It's, they, they very much meant it to be a polarizing look. Oh, there's also a Tahoe Yukon Escalade are coming. Um, that will be coming out sometime soon. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, hey, for those TFL finds, there's uh, Andre doing his uh, walk around. All right, guys, what kind of questions do you guys have? Anything else? Uh, I think I've gone over everything on my notes that I've written down. Uh, we don't have, you know, it's not official details yet on a lot of stuff. We're still waiting for a lot of details. Like, you know, how much bigger are the axles? How much bigger is the prop shaft? How much bigger drive U joints? Um, yeah, I just saw Andre a little bit ago. Uh, him and I were chatting. Um, uh, you know, so we'll get we'll get more numbers when we go to a drive event. So they're they're building this truck right now. Uh, they're gonna drive event probably be in a couple weeks. They're talking summer. They're talking the delivery on this will be summertime. So you're talking that uh, it's you're gonna start. Let's see, today's February. So drive program March April, and you're looking at delivery to the customers June July. So they're moving up their timing. Usually they waited till like August September, but they're gonna start building up. They may do the same thing to do with light duty. They may do the old one with the new one, um, build the same line, and just keep the pipeline stocked. So yeah. All right, guys. Hey, uh, I'm gonna sign off. Uh, make sure we, I put the Super Duty news up today. I'm hanging out here for a day. I'll be in uh, Chicago tomorrow. We're talking to Coleman, Chicago, Nissan Pathfinder, uh, Rock Warrior, concept like that. Uh, we're talking uh, for Super Duty to be there probably in person, be able to see those. Um, I, I'm trying to think if there's something else there. Uh, Rams will be there as well. These these trucks will be here too. Uh, if I don't get enough photos today, I'm going to take some more photos there in Chicago. So uh, I'll do some more stuff. If you have some questions, put them below. I'm going to uh, I read comments every night, try to respond as many as I can. Hit uh, subscribe, do the bell notification, you like what you're seeing, and uh, let me know. So hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.